trying to get the community. Say, come on, come on. Come on. What do you call it? Getting organized. Getting organized. Yeah. Uh, I was born and raised right here in Florence, South Carolina. I uh, went to Timrod, North Vista, Williams, the illustrious Wilson High. Graduated in 2002. I uh, went to Francis Marion University, graduated in 2006 with a bachelor's degree in visual arts, concentration in graphic design. And currently, I am a digital arts teacher for middle school and high school in East Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm Jamika Hainsworth. I'm from Florence, South Carolina. I'm raised in East Florence and North Florence. Um, I graduated from Wilson High School, class of 2002. Um, also graduated from Winthrop in 2007 with a degree in art education and I have been teaching since 2007. I taught in Sumter for seven years, and I am now teaching at Wallace Gregg Elementary in Florence, South Carolina. Well, I'm um, born and raised in East Florence, South Carolina, you know, from Seal Test. Shout out to them bricks, Mount Zion, and all that good stuff. All right, but yeah, I'm born and raised in East Florence. Um, I grew up drawing, but then I gave it up in high school. After I got expelled from high school, I stopped drawing. In 2008 is when I started painting after my last suicide attempt. Uh, out of all honesty, that's how I got into painting. I never ever thought about painting up until April of 2008 after my last failed suicide attempt. Fast forward now, this is where we at today, baby. You know, I'm loving it, I'm loving the process, and I'm gonna just keep going higher and higher and elevating with it. I'm, I'm just a man. From the um, hood of East Side, Florence, South Carolina. Born and raised, Charles Street, um, Mount Zion. Um, you know, came up in the streets just like everybody else, had it rough, had to circumvent through all the, you know what I'm saying, trials and tribulations of my neighborhood um, to make it to this guy you see here. Uh, my dad was a, a great artist. That wasn't his, his trade, but he was an amazing artist. And uh, he would pause cartoons on TV and, and draw them for me and show me how to draw them. And he could draw them from, from memory. And I've been doing that since forever. I, the, I think my first drawing that I can remember me doing was maybe about first grade. I've been doing that up until uh, up through uh, middle school and high school. And uh, got a lot of friends who, who did a lot of art. And my dad was a, also a uh, college professor. And that, that was, that's what led me to my current profession. He suggested that, hey, why don't you try education? So I, I tried it out and found my calling, <laughs> as it turned out. Uh, the very first painting that I did, it was a very depressing and suicidal-like painting. It represented me and the mother of my child, who I was going through some things with at the time. Um, if you look at how I paint nowadays, you know, it's bold, bright colors, you know, it's paint splash here and there. It turns out beautiful though. I stuck with it because I knew deep down within, like, hey, this is my light out of that dark, depressing tunnel, you know? So I just stuck with it and each day I'm just getting better and better with it. Um, it brought me out of a very bad place. I was in a real bad state of mind, you know? I held guns to my head and threatened to jump off a bridge before and had to get talked down by negotiators and my pops, God bless the dead, uh, try to over, overdose on pills and all type of other BS, you know, so I'm here today trying to motivate folks, you know, trying to be an inspiration to other people who might be going through the same thing that I've been through and just trying to elevate everybody, you know, elevate whoever that I can, you know, each one teach one, you know, so I'm trying to be a teacher and at the same time, I'm still learning, so I'm a student as well, you know, so just don't give up on your dreams and just keep striving to keep going forward, you know, you'll make it. In school, it was always all the boys drawing and then I would just, you know, sort of kind of get in with them and then we have little competitions and then I would win because back then I was kind of competitive. Um, and then I also had a cousin who um, was going to school for art as well and so he was doing um, more like graphic design and animation stuff. And so when he would draw, he would if it was something that he didn't like, he would throw it in the trash. And so when I was little, I would put him with all the stuff in the trash, and I go and get it out, and I would take it and I would um, trace it to learn how to draw the same kind of animations and characters that he would draw. Um, and then in middle school, it sort of kind of went away. Um, high school, I had a great art teacher. Um, when I was in the tenth grade, she only stayed a year. She came and she was amazing. And so then I was like, I think I want to be an art teacher. So. 
that's where it came from. Went to Winthrop, um, which was a big cultural shock because coming from Wilson, um, predominantly black school to go to Winthrop was like, oh Lord. So that was a lot, um, but I, I, I gained a lot of friends from um, Winthrop. And then once I graduated from there, I went to go teach in Sumter. Um, and then I decided that it was time for me to come back home to do what I wanted to really do. And so I'm back. Uh, actually, it's a pretty simple story. I got a phone call from a good friend of mine, from a classmate of mine from Wilson High. And she told me that the project was, was going to be taking place or there was a possibility that the project was going to be taking place. She asked me if I wanted to participate. No questions asked. That's, that's all I needed to hear. I was on board immediately, just like that. <laughs> 30, 45 second conversation, literally. About a month ago, is it safe to say a month ago, I did a, did a, a George Floyd mural, you know, in East Florence, right down Palmetto. Did a George Floyd uh, mural that got nationwide recognition, you know, NBC, different news channels, uh, different blog sites, and it just, it just turned into something major. Uh, so we have this Black Lives Matter mural that we're doing on the 25th of this month right here, the 25th, come out, support, have fun. And, uh, you know, contacted by a couple of people to be involved, and I'm honored for that, you know, I'm honored to be a part of something that's, that's big, you know, that the world can see, you know, something major for our city, and it's just gonna be great, you know? So I'm looking forward to the future and doing other things like this and just keep striving and seeing what doors is gonna open for me. Um, I got involved with the project because Zach called and he was like, um, I ran across this idea about doing a Black Lives Matter mural, would you like to help? And I was like, yeah, sure, cool, no problem. Um, so then he called and was like, uh, well, he made a Facebook group and put a bunch of artists in the Facebook group and they were asking some questions. And he was like, well, do you mind coming to the meeting with me with all of your questions? And I was like, no problem. So I went to the meeting, um, posed all of the artists' questions um, and we went from there. I got in touch with Jamel because we needed a um, designer for the mural. I hit up Jamel. He agreed to do the project, um, worked on it. When they presented it to the committee, it got approved and here we are. Um, I represent MAD organization, which stands for Making a Difference, um, which was originated by um, a couple of guys and females from the neighborhood of East Florence. You know, it started off, you know, with, should I say, one cookout that we decided to do for the kids, you know, um, in the neighborhood. Um, and then from that one cookout, you know, we had such a positive, a positive um, feedback from it that we kept it going the next week and the next week. Um, we started with bike giveaways and feeding the kids and um, kind of showing the kids that there was a better way than what they see in the neighborhood and show them that the men and women from that neighborhood who should I, how should I say it, came from the same streets and the same projects and the same communities could do something positive. Um, it started um, with Brothers like Styles Greg, you know, myself, Damon Douglas, Sean Woods, Shalanda Edie, um, Demazio Douglas, Demetrius Barr, um, the list goes on. Zach Allen, and it, it's, it's so many of us. I, I, I know I left a lot of names out. So um, it started with us just giving back to the community and, you know, local guys from Brown Moles, all up and down Gay Yard, Walnut, Charlotte, Pine, The Hill, you know, would just give their money for the bikes giveaways that we would have every weekend. And it, it got so big that the city caught wind of it, you know. And when the city caught wind of it, and the city that we was doing it every day, they caught wind of it, and they wanted to know what was going on. So um, eventually what happened, they ended up shutting us down because we didn't have no permits and they say we didn't have our paperwork right but which we didn't feel we need we didn't feel we need one because it was us doing things for us you know so that kind of like 
took the winds out of the sails. We had to meet with the city, and they still kept shutting us down. And it, it lost, it lost, it lost the wind. It lost the wind in sails. So we've been dormant for about a year or two, you know. And you know, brother Wally brought an idea to me that we brought an idea to me that would help regenerate the Mad campaign, you know. And from from there, this is what we got going on now. Um, so we got the mad thing back rolling, and from here, mad is about to take off. Y'all about to see some things in this city, you know, that you haven't seen in a while, but just stay tuned. You know, mad is about to resurgitate. We about to get our things restructured, and we're gonna come back to y'all with some things that the neighborhood and everybody should be proud of. Hello, hello. My name is Mel Howard. We will be painting a Black Lives Matter mural right here on Barnes Street in Florence, South Carolina. All artists, all activists, you're available if you're interested. Please come out and join us. Help us celebrate this momentous occasion. I'm Jamika Hainsworth. I am an art teacher for Florence School District 1. I will also be participating in the Black Lives Matter mural, community mural painting on July 25th from 10 to 6. Um, please come out and meet us there. If you are a parent of one of my students, please bring them. If you are anyone who would like to participate, come on out. So this, uh, this, this thing that we putting together for the community is going to be huge. Uh, we're coming together for a great cause something that the community is going to greatly appreciate. You know, so. Definitely, definitely. With, with MAD, with, with the right. artists, the right. teachers, the, the, the Florence mm -hmm. local iconic artist, mm -hmm. teacher, another iconic artist, mm -hmm. community, yeah. east side, yeah. Florence. Right, right. It's about to go down, man. It's about to go down. I, I can't believe what we're accomplishing here, man. Right, right. Um, Oh, it's going to be great. It's going to be great, and I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Um, I'm just glad to be a part of actually a organization that actually stands for what I believe in, which yeah. is making a difference. Um, so I'm glad to be involved with that, um, making a difference with kids, making a difference with community, making a difference with Florence as a whole. So I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be a part of it. The energy is crazy. You can feel the energy right now through the lenses. You know, you can feel the energy right now. We're going to bring more energy to the table. On the 25th, you know, everybody come out and be a part of something great because it's going to be a beautiful thing. Y'all agree? Yep, We I definitely agree. 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 Like you yeah. said, it's about the youth and it's about the future. That's right, yep. that's right. So y'all stay tuned. July the 25th. Meet us downtown, Barn Street, from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. It will be myself, Wild Bill, Damon Douglas, Angel Bridge, Zach Allen, Nardio, a um, couple of other artists, Infinite, Rat Trap Radio, everybody is going down. You know what I'm saying? It's the east side, west side, south side, north side of fair, man. Come down, bring your kids. This history is about to be made. History is about to be made. Mad, making the difference. We about to do this thing in a light that y'all have never seen before. Y'all get ready. Florence get ready. Dollarton get ready. Hartsville get ready. PD, South Carolina. About to make history. Let's go, baby. Let's go. And five, four, three, two. You're all the way live. July 25th, Community Art Project. Meet, Meet us, us there. there. Meet us there. Let's get mad, baby. <laughs> One more time. Yeah. All right, all right. Five, four, three, two. You're all the way live. July 25th, Community, Community Art Project. Project. Meet, Meet us, us there. there. Let's get mad, baby. Mmm. <laughs> 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 All right. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? We're doing one and one. We're all doing together. Five, four, three, two. You all the way live. July 25th, Community Arts Project. Meet us there. Let's get mad. Let's get mad, baby. Let's go.